Welcome to Crux, I'm Salani Tambo. In this week's programme, Crux asks the question, can homosexuals change and should they have to with Crux? Missionary Nancy McElroy then joins us in the studio to relate some of her amazing experiences with the Maasai in Kenya. Right now though, here's Glenn Lewington with Crux News. According to religiontoday.com, churches in Turkey have acted quickly after last week's massive earthquake. Turkish workers from several churches were sent to work alongside international rescue teams. World Relief President Clive Calver says that evangelical churches in Turkey consider helping quake victims a way to serve their countrymen and earn credibility for the church in that nation. World Vision, just one among many Christian ministries offering assistance, will send $2 million in medicine and of churches last Friday. It was debated whether ecumenism, the effort to forge cooperative ties and unity among the world's Christians, has become a static institution. While one participant noted that the ecumenical movement was God's mission, and if God's mission was alive, then ecumenism would live. Another participant maintained that things that were once key activities of the churches, such as education, social work and health care, have now been continued during the WCC Central Committee meeting in Geneva, which ended on the 3rd of September. Last week, Crux reported that Bishop Mvume Dandala has been installed as the first black prior or head of the Order of St. John in South Africa. This week in a Crux News special, we feature extended coverage of the event. The work of it was given the status of a brigade over the sea by the International Order of St. John at the beginning of the 20th century. Its mission was to enable South Africans to improve their health, safety and quality of life by providing training and community service. In 1099, at the time of the First Crusades, the knights went out to Jerusalem and there they decided that uh, for 900 years. I think for me the most exciting thing about this order is that in the midst of everything else that has happened over the years, over the centuries, the order has been very consistent in wanting to provide health care to the people. Now if you live in a continent like ours, where there is so much suffering, where there is so much, have so much heritage to tap into in order to help correct some of the wrongs and problems that face us today. Queen Victoria granted the Order of St. John a royal charter and became its sovereign head in 1888. The origin of the order goes back to the Christian Crusades 900 years ago. The Order of St. John became head of the order. As prior of this prior the prior's job is to set the direction of the order in keeping with priories in the rest of the world. Bishop Mvumi Dandala is the first black prior of South Africa and was installed on the 8th of June. This was done during a service in the St. George's Cathedral in Parktown, Johannesburg. Well, of course, at the time, gospel. Uh, since then, there have been historical changes. Today, we are a Christian order. Um, we always will be, but we in, incorporate a lot of wonderful people from all sorts of religions. I have no doubt in my mind that the greatest single contribution that the order can make is for, um, there is so much that needs to be done. Uh, and we are, at this point in time, uh, in a state or in a stage where people don't want to do anything if they are not going to be paid for it. And I do believe that it is essential that we seek to instill that spirit of volunteering. It is important to mobilize our resources in order to offer this voluntary service to mankind. During the Thanksgiving service at the St. Mary's Church in downtown Johannesburg, Bishop Dandala was also made a Knight of the Order to serve the people of South Africa. Bishop Dandala has clear ideas about the direction which he presented at the American Psychological Association's conference in Boston last week. One test showed that unforgiving people had rapid heart rates and high blood pressure after being asked to think about someone who had wronged them. The least forgiving types were either depressed or angry, or both. That's all from Crux News. I'm Glenn Lewington. Homosexuality is one of the issue, three schools of thought on the issue. One, that gay people should be rejected and even persecuted for their sin. Two, that they should be loved and accepted.